Ooh. Oh no, Vernon might have just rolled right into an armbar here. Yeah, Vernon has got to really make sure. Oh, he's got yeah. it. He's got the armbar. He's got the armbar. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I don't know how to start this. Hey, yo, grapplers. It's your boy. <laughs> um, my name is TJ. And I just want to talk about Kimuras for a second. Uh, just be a second, then it'll be none but cool Kimuras and breakdowns and cool stuff. But I just, I fell in love with Kimuras as a young preteen. I can show a video of me competing in Japan, just like Kimura and everybody, you know? But um, I saw Sakuraba like in the first video, just killing all the Gracies with it. It's just such a powerful move. And I went up into the, uh, started training more with adults and competing against adults. And I was like, I can't hit my Kimuras anymore, no matter what I'm doing, no matter the absolutes or in practice or anything. These guys outweigh me and there's no way I'm going to stop a guy from keeping his arm right here. So I go, no, and I attach it to the front side of my body because again, the opposite of good is bad. And if my back is bad, the chest is good. Fantastic. Unless you are strong enough to push my arm through my chest, in which case I have much bigger problems, you are not going to be Kimura in me. So I had to study the position. And then that's when I came upon um, the Kimura trap, which is the label that David Avalon kind of established for this Kimura grip position. So that's what I'm going to be trying to study here. The Kimura trap. The idea is I'm threatening you. I say, look, Seth, I'm going to rip your arm off. How do you feel about that? He says, no. I'm like, fantastic. Well, guess what? He now has a giant colossal gap in his defense. So there's a gaping hole in my defense now that you can start to pass through, that you can start to use to control me. So not only, guys, does this open elbow in the first place create all kinds of trouble for the other guy, what we're doing is we're putting him in one of those catch-22 situations that sucks. I'm immediately going to grip right in his palm, okay, and his wrist, okay, so my fingers are actually going inside his hands. This gives me much more le leverage in, in dealing with his grip, and I can even kind of work on his wrist a little bit to make it harder for him to make a strong grip. So it's important that I lean forward and keep my elbows and my arms tight with my body, okay, as I come up to pull that arm away, okay. Make sure you're pulling away from the grip first, then taking the arm up. He catches him with the sweep. The Kimura is in play. Alex tries to turn in, and here we are, right back into our three position. Back control, okay? Arm bar, or you catch the shoulder, underhook arm catches the ankle, and you wind up in the triangle.